Ben got the promotion. What are you thinking? I'm not good enough. I figured that's what you were thinking. Then why did you ask me? Because I want you to know it's not true. Yes, it is. No, it just means that you work at a place that doesn't value what you bring to the table. That doesn't make me feel better. Well, it's not supposed to. It's your job to make me feel better. No, it's my job to tell you the truth. And the truth is, this business isn't fair. It was never meant to be. This industry will always be frustrating for us. That's not going to stop us from pursuing our dreams. What if I quit? You're not going to quit. Of course, I'm not going to quit because I am not a quitter. No. Nope. I am a warrior. Damn right. Don't do that. What? Acting like it doesn't hurt. It's OK to be disappointed. <laughs> I know. Go! What is wrong with you? Please, if Todd had lost the promotion, he would have blown your car up. Who the hell is Todd? Why didn't I get the promotion? First of all, it's not just my decision. Okay, and secondly, there are a lot of factors. Like what? Look, it's all very political. Obviously, because you're talking but not saying anything. Look, 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 look. If it were up to me, you would have gotten a job, all right? Don't lie to me. I'm not. I can't. I respect you too much. Then why did you promote him instead of me? <sighs> because my colleagues aren't afraid of him. They see you as a threat. So Ben got the job because he's not as good as me. Precisely. That's ridiculous. I know. I totally understand if you quit. You deserve better than this. Is that what you want? You want me to leave? You know that I don't. Have fun. Don't, don't, don't blow this for me, okay? Um, I would just like to thank our guests again for coming. You know, tonight we're gonna switch it up a little. Your scene partner will tell you who you are, where you are, and what you're doing. Which one of you wants to go first? We're co-workers at an office supply store uh, stacking shelves. Okay. Okay. And you just got a new weave. And all she can talk about is this new weave. Okay. And begin scene. Yeah, you look different. I just can't put my finger on what it is. What do you mean? Did you change your hair? Yes. Apparently, I got a weave. Jesus may have saved my soul, but this weave saved my life. <laughs> Like yesterday, I was sitting up in the house and Malib was like, and I was like, yes, Malib. And Malib was like, you better take that chicken at the freezer for dinner. And that was a good save because what were your five kids gonna eat? And you know they all have different dads. Demarcus, my favorite of the baby daddies. <laughs> my too! Not only because he pays his child support on time, but he always gives me that good D whenever I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I could ask you a weave Marquisha question? Sure, but she only talks to me. Weave, should I make love to a black woman? <laughs> Maui said you're not worthy of being inside a black woman. Oh. <laughs> and see, yeah, right. You will choose who you both are, where you are, and what you're doing. Actors have the stage. You're playing a white guy. What? <laughs> That's not a thing. You know, like a Kendall, Mitt Romney type dude. Huh? 
You've just been invited to your old black nanny's cookout. Wait a minute, I don't know about this. Uh, class, what does he need to do? Say yes, boo. Yes. Now walk in. Yes. Perfect, you look like you have a stick up your <gasps> Oh, hello, dogs. Nice to see you. Oh, oh. you shaking. Yes, I am a bit nervous. Right, because you've never been around so many black people before. You are terrified. No, I have black friends. <laughs> Oh, oh, Todd, honey, I don't count. I'm just your nanny. I remember when you was just a baby, you had the cutest pink butt, and it's still as flat as a pancake. <laughs> you grew tall. But you know what part of you never grew? Your little wee-wee.